Who was your favorite superstar to do backstage interviews with and why? Oh, God. You know, anytime I get asked this, I really it's not that I get stumped. Honestly, the first person that comes to mind for me is Paul Heyman. OK, um, I loved working with Paul Heyman because he's Paul Heyman, obviously. Um, but him and I always had such a great chemistry. And he was somebody that always really pushed me to push him, if that makes sense. Like, yep. I remember we did we did a sit down and it was one where where Brock had just turned on him. And he's distraught. He's not shaved. I don't think he slept the night before because that's how Heyman works. He is like method to a T. Um, and it was one of those moments where like he wanted me to push him, but he is sitting in that moment being so vulnerable that that's pushing me to go a certain place. And then our characters had this very like push and pull relationship that it, it made me kind of want to like take advantage of the fact that I'm like, oh, is Heyman sad about this? How do I like kind of get him with this? How do I grind him down? Um, so I, I always really loved working with Paul. He was always so generous to me as a performer. And uh, he's one of the absolute best to ever do it. Uh, but he, he, he really gave me a spotlight very early on. And I know that he was somebody, whether he was talking to Vince, whether he was talking to Kevin Dunn, I know that he went to bat for me a lot. Um, but, he, but I mean, you know, even aside from him just being like a, a good dude and doing that, I just loved working with him because he would just get in my face and like yell and be Paul Heyman. And I, I always really loved those moments. All right. And lastly, what's the most memorable thing you did during your entire time in WWE? What's your crowning oh, achievement? I think, you know what? I think there's two. I'm going to go to obviously the one has to be I, I, I want to say slapping the Miz, but actually I think the moment was when Maurice slapped me. Okay. Uh, I, I'm, I'm like more proud of that moment because I took that slap right to the face, right to the side of the head. Um, and that was a really cool moment for me where I did get to feel like I could like sort of flex my acting chops a little bit and really sell that. Uh, but then I have another moment that is it's pretty subtle. But it was a moment that I, I really loved. It was when John was doing a program with Drew McIntyre and I was on commentary and they had come up onto the announce table and, you know, they do whatever to smash the announce table. And um, and Drew took a pencil and was going to stab John in the eye with it. And I let out this like guttural wife scream that I was like, nailed it. <laughs> I feel like that was one of those moments that like, you know, whether people noticed it or not, I feel like that was a moment that I just wanted to be as like present as a wife as I could and not as an announcer. And I, I tried to like really lean into that as much as I could.